Hello and welcome back to the craft box. My name is Brent and today we are on episode 301 of the death walkthrough. It's been a long time since I've recorded this. So I can't actually remember what we did last time, but you should go check it out. I believe we defeated Judge Veg in this house, but might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what we did. Anyway, today we're heading to Gobleton and jumping in the lake because that sounds fun. So yeah, why not we just jump in the lake? So you can breathe underwater. How are you doing that? Something, something Celestia, huh? Makes as much sense as the rest of this. Now watch out for those jellyfish. Right, I've got to defeat three jellyfish, so um, uh, I'll be back once I've defeated three of these guys. Right, I am back. Um, these guys, not too difficult, as with everything in, in Caramel to start with. Not very difficult, apart from the bosses occasionally. Um, but yeah, GG, easy clap, that's three down. They're not too bad, they don't really do too much. They do stun, so just be careful of that, and I'm assuming they might have fire dispels, because everything seems to have dispels these days, it's a bit weird. Um, but yeah, not too bad. Let's head on through. Hopefully, we don't have to, um, get pulled. That would be good. Um, we have to rendezvous with Rosina, who is right next to us, so I don't know how that works, but whatever. Whatever. Doesn't make sense, but that's cool. Oh, she, she leaves us. That's why. She, she just ab aborts mission. Ah, that's better. No forests, no allergens. Welcome to Gobleton, wizard. Is it everything you were expecting? Nope. As for the gobblers, we are an indolent people. We while away our days eating, expelling gases, and passing out from the exertion. Small details like maintenance and not eating the street tend to escape us. I'd hope to change that to encourage them to do things, anything. It's the witch, the one who scared King Gobblestone away. Ugh. Get her! But then there was that. I'm afraid I require your services as bodyguard, kiddo. Hopefully you can convince them not to resort to cannibalism. Right, let us <laughs> defeat some gobblers. Um, we're going to do this on camera because it's just one fight. It shouldn't be too bad, right? Just one fight. We're, we're going to defeat the storm guy and the fire guy. Yeah, storm and fire sounds good. Um, better than death, so that's cool. There is a whole sort of variety of different gobblers that you can fight for this quest. There's a million of them. I think there's one for nearly every single school. So you can take your luck and get your skull or not, that's also fine. But Storm and Fire are not too bad. They they do smoke screen, but I power these. I'm I'm too good to fizzle. I'm not a storm wizard, I can't fizzle, it's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. Absolutely impossible. Impossible. We're gonna have to go for a ship of falls. I don't know if this is gonna get, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try. I was slightly worried that this might happen when I saw my hand at first. And I'm like, mm, okay, we're gonna do 40 blade or 50 blade just in case um hopefully it's a good idea that we did that we will find out though we will find out kabam what is this hit count holy moly wow imagine using hit count haven't seen this one in five million years jeez what is this what even is this does it even do damage no it doesn't it does zero see nothing i'm just immune not quite not quite. It does a little bit of damage, but not too much. Not too much. Just a little bit. We can follow up with a thing next, I think, so we should be fine. I think we can go into a Lulu if we get a Shad, which we should be getting a Shad sometime soon. Um, either this round, next round or the round after, so if this doesn't kill, which it hopefully will, um, we should be fine. It might just kill. Just. We will have to see. It will definitely kill the storm. Yeah, not the fire. I thought that would happen. I did think that would happen. Wow, next round is Shad. Okay, we're just going to pass. 244 health. Man, if only we casted this... <laughs> if only we casted this hit count on him. It's doing just about that. Um, right, we didn't even get a Shadow Pip that round. What the heck? What the heck, game? Four rounds, no Shad. That's not cool. That ain't fair. Oh well, we got a Scarecrow now. It's fine. He should definitely die. Hopefully. Most likely. I would say so. Probably. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Nice. GG. Easy clap. Next. Oh, fine. We won't eat the witch. But tell her she better not wish away our new king. And bring us some food. P please. Okie dokie. Let's talk to Rosina. Um, they have a new king, apparently. That's pretty interesting. Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll 
we'll see what happens with the new king. I know we have to talk to him soon. Bring them food, but Nana supplies all the food to Gobleton. No wonder they're so hangry. It's those Antijoys. They'll get you every time. I have a theory that gobbler physique and attitude are influenced by the food that we eat, more so than other races, hence my unique appearance. I mean, didn't we work with the Saturn Imperia? That's why I think gobblers can be the solution to the Antijoys. We just need to feed them the right thing. Alas, they are set in their ways. I asked King Gobblestone, a portly fellow, even by gobbler standards, to see what happened if he exercised and ate fewer than 30 meals a day. This upset him greatly. He began ranting about witches, then waddled off to some other world. In response, the citizenry ran me out of town. In case you, if, in case you haven't caught up, that's the, the King and Colossus Boulevard. In, ca in case you're wondering and completely forgot that that exists, because she seems to forget that we may have actually had experiences previously, which we have. Since I'm persona non grata here, can you ask some of the gobblers about the missing food rations and if they've noticed any absent brethren? Capital! I'll do some sleuthing from the shadows and meet you on the other side of the island. Good luck! Right! Whew. Getting that XP nice and gold as well. I can always do with more gold. <coughs> Gobbler swerking in factories? Yep, I heard about that. Not me, though. No siree, Bob. It's against the Gobbler code. Eat, rest, play, sleep. And uh, sometimes uh, sleep eat. There's still a debate about that last one. Point is, gobblers don't work. Or... Conversate. Hint, hint, eh? Hint. He's a bit mean, isn't he? I just wanted a nice way to chat with him, but nope. Gobblers working in factories? Why would you say such a horrible thing? My blood sugar's too low for this kind of talk. I gotta lie down. Okay, dokie. Gobbit Downey Brownie Jr. What a name. What a name. Amazing. Good, good job, King's Isle. The food ration drive from Nana have stopped? Everybody panic! <laughs> oh, so sleepy. Nap now, panic later. Night, night. Okie dokie. Seems like nobody knows what's actually happening here. It's quite a shame. He's a little bit poorly. What's this about sweating anti-joys? Is that for when I feel like a nut or when I don't? Oh, anti-joys. Yeah, yeah, that sounds exhausting. And our food drops, yeah, they get taken away whenever Nana needs another professional taste tester for her factory. Been happening a lot lately. King Gobsmack says the testers just sit and eat all day, then give Nana their expert opinions. Well, I do it, but it sounds <clears throat> exhausting. Yep, sitting and eating all day. I mean, I mean, that's just what you do already, but whatever. Whatever. Whatever, that's fine, Mr. Gobbler. Jeez. Well, what's the not-so-skinny, kiddo? Learn anything useful? So Nana and co. are extorting the gobblers for expert taste-testing labor? How grandmotherly. And the new King Gobsmack is in on it? Well then, we must have words with King Gobsmack. You go distract the castle guards by the side door, whilst I sneak in elsewhere. Meet me inside. Okie dokie, we might need some help with this next boss, but um, we'll see. We'll try Hold it up, little buddy. I mean, ha, oh, in the name of the king. God, oh, that sounded so authoritative, buddy. I'm like literally shaking over here. <laughs> Nicely done. Thanks, buddy. We're pretty awesome guards, aren't we, buddy? So awesome, buddy. Oh, and you can go on in, little bud. Just know that we're like pretty sure we saw a gross witch sneaking around. Way to be informative, buddy. Let's totally go the opposite way and hunt down that witch, buddy. Oh, and maybe something to eat. <laughs> I think we go this way, right? I, I, no, but it's... Is it? I always forget. It's around the other side. You need to go around the back. And I couldn't remember if, if it was that way or this way. It is inside. You have to go inside to get around the back. It's a little bit weird, but hey, it's okay. We, we did it. We did it. I've got good news and bad news. <laughs> we totally knew you were trying to distract us while your witch friend snuck into the castle. <laughs> and, and we know which witch that witch is. Hooah! And we caught you both. And we brought backup buddies. We're like the best guards ever, aren't we, buddy? 
Oh, the faster you fight them, the faster they stop talking. I kind of like their dialogue. They're nice creatures, okay, Rosina? I don't know your hate for these guys. So mad. So sad. Right, Goblin Guards, Elite, rank 15, 18. I can read. Don't worry, guys. I can read. Um, their ice and what? I don't know. Life? Is that is that the other one? Did I see life? I think I might have seen life. Yeah, it's life. That That's right. Life and ice. Very interesting combo. Not often you see that combination, but um, hey, we'll do it. We'll, we'll manage to destroy them pretty quickly. Hopefully. Maybe. Probably. We'll find out. Um, but yeah. Oh look, it's this spell that I don't know the name of, but it's really cool and I like it. And I wish that you could actually learn this. It's such a weird spell, but I like it. It's so much better than Blizzard. It takes slightly longer, but like at least it's unique. You know, Blizzard's just a reskin meteor. Just saying. Just saying. Um. Right, let's kill. Let's do this. I'm lagging slightly, which is not good. It's happened a lot recently, so um, yeah, it's slightly, slightly bad. We might lose connection halfway through this, but oh well. Oh well. Whatever. It happens. It happens. At least we killed. That's all that really matters at the end of the day. Killing. He didn't die. This is so sad. How much health does he have? How much block does he have? That's the question, really. That's the question of the day. How much block does this man have? Apparently, quite a lot. Quite a lot. I thought it would be simple, but no. It is apparently anything but simple. We need to blade again. We need another blade. At least we have a ship of fools to finish off next round but we need blade just in case because he seems to be a tough a tough cookie a tough cookie kablam oh he's gonna kill himself even better even better i don't have to do it he does it for me oh no fair you cheated are you okay buddy i didn't cheat you killed yourself I think so. Thanks for asking, buddy. We totally would have won that fight if we'd been properly fueled. Good point, buddy. You come back after we've eaten, and we'll put the hurt on you. Yeah! Until then, uh, I guess you can, like, go talk to the king. Just don't run this one off with your crazy witch talk, okay? Ooh, sick burn, buddy. Come on, let's go find clouds that look like stuff. Let's hope those two aren't indicative of the new king's sensibilities. This way. Ooh, sick burn, buddy. <laughs> oh, this is funny. I know there's a fight in here. I just don't know when. Good gravy. Your majesty clearly hasn't missed too many meals. I guess Gobblestone was the stack size king. His voraciousness, King Gobsmack, demands to know the reason for this intrusion. He also inquires about this gravy you spoke of. We demand to know why gobblers are being offered up like chattel to be sweated in Nana's factory. <laughs> the tributes serve a higher purpose. They will continue, so the food drops continue. You won't drive away Gobsmack as you did his cousin. Gobblestone wasn't driven away. He rolled away after I suggested he try jumping jacks. You see? Exercise produces splendorphins, which... Hmm... <coughs> oh, yeah. No need to translate that, Wormtongue. We get the gist. Come on, kiddo. Let's get out of here. I think I have an idea. Okie dokie, we have an idea. Um, it's the next time we have to seek audience with him that we have to fight. I remember now, I remember. But there's definitely a fight in there. You can tell by how fighty it looks. You know, there's a, a clear enough area for a fight. And that's what we're all about here, fighting things. We gotta fight, pew pew fight, ha ha. Yep, definitely how it works. Right, Rosina. Gobsmack may be worse than Gobblestone, but that worthless conversation made me realize something else. Gobblers are the problem, but we can also be the cure. When we exercise, our bodies produce sweet splendorphins. They can negate the antijoys. At least that's my theory. We'll need to test it. I've created a makeshift lab in an old building that these gobblers wouldn't dare trespass in. The gym. Let's go. The gym. Ooh. Are we going to get a level? I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get a level or not, but we need to go to the gym. We have to 
clear out the gym first from memory not of gobblers because they wouldn't go into the gym they definitely would not go in the gym well that's odd the door won't open Ugh. the old lock probably rusted shut or something we'll have to go round the long way follow me oof go away no one may enter the witch's abode why not after she left, nasty boogeyman appeared. Terrible monsters of slime and ick. So we locked them in the place no one ever goes. I see. And what if I told you that I was the witch in question? Oh, well, I guess I would arrest you. Uh, but the jail's all the way over there. Uh, and I'm pretty comfortable. Uh, so uh, help yourself. Sounds like a plan. We will help ourselves. Let's head in and see what we can cause. What trouble and stuff we can cause. Surely there will be nothing in the gym after a sigil, right? Definitely not. That's not how it works. This game loves the sigils and then the fights after the sigil. Like the Oogie Boogie. What? What are those things? They're disgusting. Are they? No. Oh, you think they'll leave us alone if we don't pick at them? Nope. These are the Oogie Boogie. <clears throat> Oogie Boogie. Oogie boogie. Rank 17, fire. I'll be back once I defeat them. They're not too bad. Right, I am back. Here we go with the Scarecrow to kill. Hopefully, crit, lovely. Nice, nice, nice. Kablam. And number two, Kablam. Fantastic, they are dead. Oogie boogie gone. Oogie boogie no more. Well, that was the worst experience of my life. You know what I think these are? Well, you see, gobblers ingest a great deal, especially sugar. And, at least my theory is, food greatly affects every atom of their bodies. In this case, those atoms have become imbued with sugar rush energy. Now, when certain bodily substances are expelled, say, via sneezing, the sugar rush energy in those substances persists and... Uh, yeah, let's just go. That sounds gross. I don't know why we're going this way all of a sudden because we came in here and the building went the other way. But, um, you know what? It's fine. We're not even going to question it. Oh, oh, of course. More of the disgustingness. Yep, more oogie boogies. These ones are rank 17. Ice, right, so I'll be back in just a little bit. These guys are annoying. I hate them so much. They shield. They stun. Not cool. 0 out of 10. I rate these guys a solid 0 out of 10 do not recommend doing these guys ever not cool really really not cool oh my gosh two shields as well holy oh wow that was painful that is pain everything i know is pain i only know pain from this fight the pain so help me if there's an even bigger mucus monster in the next room don't even say that because it's gonna happen look i told you it's gonna happen yep and there it is an even bigger one, a full-on boogeyman, no less. I swear you can't write something this repugnant. I mean, obviously someone did write this, and I have to say it is pretty repugnant. Um, right, let's do this first boss of today. The last boss of today as well. Rank 19, death. Oh, shh. No prisms. Ha, <laughs> we're gonna go prismless, boys. Who needs prisms? Not me. I'm too good for prisms. Jeez. Way too good for prisms. <laughs> Who needs prisms? Not me. Definitely not. Definitely don't need prisms. Is this an ice man's? No, it's balance. That's not too bad. Balance is only slightly annoying. They're probably weakness. At least they probably don't shield as much as the ice ones or stun. That's probably the good bit about it. Um, but we're definitely going to use all of the blades. We're going to faint as well because we have no prisms. Because I am so smart. Ha 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 ha. Why am I do? Why I do this to myself? Why I do? Why I do this? Why I do this? Why am I dumb? It, it'll be fine, probably, right? He can't... That hurt just a little bit. Just a little bit of hurt there. This is pain. I don't like this. This this is... Why did I forget prisms? Why am I dumb? I don't understand sometimes. I don't know. Maybe I have to just end this walkthrough and, and quit. <laughs> I am too dumb now. I am too dumb for this. I need another blade, please. Plus another blade or a faint, that would be fantastic game. Even give me a shadow pip and I'll smack him. I'll just smack him right now. I'll go for the mega smack on him. They're blading up for a big hit. This is going to hurt. This next hit that they do, it's going to be painful. Really, really painful. 
Super painful. Yep, this is gonna hurt a lot. Plus a weakness. Oh my gosh. Oh no, this man's is outplaying me. This is a solid yikes. That hurt. What the heck? I need new spell. This is where new spell comes in handy. <laughs> this is the one fight that new spell comes in handy. But oh well, it is fine. Do we have a... Okay, we have this. I mean, at least I can Scion. I might honestly... Do I have... I have cleanse, yes. I have cleanse, good. I can Scion whenever. So as long as they don't set up for another big hit, I'm fine basically fine that's how it works um but i might just scion next i'll cleanse and then scion um because we don't scion a lot okay i'm gonna have to double cleanse e e yikes yikes that is not good not very good at all um we will enchant this we'll draw for another cleanse right okay he's got a shad why is he gaining shad so quickly like what the heck what the heck Big shads. Super big shads. This is a shield. What should be a death shield? Okay, good. Good. I don't know why I put that out into the universe. The universe will smite me down for saying that. He's like, oh, you want a death shield on him? Sure, you can have that. Next round, there will be a death shield. 100% bet. I thought they removed both of them for a second. Jeez. Um, four pips. What can he do? He can't cast Kizma. I mean, he does go first. Next round, he can absolutely wallop me. Oh, stop weaknessing me. Right, we're going to have to deal with just one weakness. I think the the death one's at 20, so it's fine. But I definitely can't with two of them. Two of them is just not cool. But I have to I have to hit. I have to hit. So we're going to for a Scion. We're going to for Scion. Yes. English and stuff. This could hurt. Eh, actually, no, it's just a natural. Oh, this could hurt. It's a natural attack. Well, then. That was fun. I don't know how I died there. This, I'm actually kind of just confused. I'm a bit rusty, so that's probably why. <laughs> probably why. We'll just blame it that I'm bad at the game, partly. Um, can we load, please, game? You want to, you know? Yeah, cool. Let's put in prisms. Sounds like a fun idea. Sounds great, to be honest. Um, yeah. Right, let's also put a new spell, because then we can not have to worry about the things and stuff. Where is new spell? We'll replace Lulu with new spell real quick. Just for one round. Just for one fight. Please remind me to remove it. I mean, you're not going to be able to, but whatever. Whatever. We'll, we'll pretend you are. We will pretend you are. Yikes. Okay. Boogeyman. I can't believe I died to the boogeyman. I don't understand. I don't understand how that is possible. I feel so bad at the game. I feel so bad. Can we go first as well? That would be fantastic. Instead of going second, because I always go second. Thank you. Thank you, game, for making me go first. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Right, we're going to just double double prism right off the bat, I think. That's probably the best idea. Probably the best idea here. It just seems like a good move. Trying to hit before he does is what we're going to do while trying to save up as many pips as possible in case he whacks me for a million damage real fast. We're just going to prism as much as possible before blade. And then at least I'm not too worried. We do have new spells so we can just yeet the yeet away the weakness or at least one of them, not all of them, but one of them. Um, that is not cool. That is not cool at all. Um, right. We're going to discard this. We'll, we'll do another one, just because this is all we can do, and I don't really want to pass for now. So we'll do this. We'll do this. He has a million quadrillion things. This is going to hurt a little bit. Oh, it's new spell. That's cute. That's cute. Good job. Good job. Nice work. Amazing. Okay, that didn't do too much. That's fine. That's fine. He actually has quite a lot of outgoing damage. Not gonna lie. This doesn't do weakness anymore, which is good. But it's gonna... Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. At least he didn't have the PS Blade or the, um... Or the Blade. He gave that to his minion, which was really stupid. But I'm not gonna complain about that. I ain't gonna complain about that. Um... 
One blade. We can't kill the boss, but I might hit just to hit. Because he seems to be spamming the spell. What the heck? What the heck? Trash, please. Nana needs to go in there. Nana needs to go in her trash bin because she is trash. Okay, that did a little bit as well. We definitely need to hit soon. Definitely need to hit soon. Ooh, ooh, this is scary. This fight is actually probably one of the scariest so far. This is one where I fear for my life. Um, okay, they can't do anything, so I'm going to blade again. Plus, we go first, so we'll blade. We'll blade. We're doing well for now. We have a shad, which is good. So any shenanigans they want to do, we can be like, nah. Not going to happen. Not going to happen, kiddo. What is this? A weakness, probably? No, okie dokie, even better. This is fine. Why do they not cast weakness this time? Not that I'm complaining, but like, you know, it would have been far better last time. Just saying. Should we use new spell? No, I actually want to have health when I come out, so we're not going to use new spell. The less I use new spell, the less validation it gets from me, because it's bad and it should never have existed. Why is Death Gobbler? I don't know. I've explained this multiple times. That's why I don't use the spell. Not because it's bad. It's actually a good spell. But I just don't agree with it and, 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 you know, the concept of it, don't agree with, so I can't use it. It's just something, you know, it just happens. It just happens. Um, but yeah, right, Million's dead, which is good. No more random weaknesses from him. That's lovely faint that you got there. Would be a shame if someone, you know, added another one. And used your 30 and the 70 at the same time. Yikes, imagine that. Unfortunately, I have the same thing here. Um, oh, hello. Hello, this is not what I was expecting. Right, I need to kill him ASAP. Because um, this is going to hurt. With two faints. Damn, that's going to hurt a lot. That really going to hurt. Hold up. Um, what do we have? We have Scion. Um, two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, we can Scion next. And that'll be fine because he still has two rounds. So we're just going to blade. We're going to blade into the Scion because we haven't Scioned in so long. So we might as well. We might as well. It's not going to be... I don't think it's going to be doubled. Um, but it's going to be close. It's going to be close to double. It's not even going to be close to double because she's healing. So that's fine. Whatever. Whatever, man. Oh, it went down. Ha <laughs> loser. Plus 10 backlash. Yeah, get wrecked. Get wrecked, bud. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get absolutely wrecked. Right, so um, hopefully this kills. It may not. If not, we can always go for something else. I'm not too worried about the shadow damage now because it's not going to be as insane as it was. Crit. Blade. Faint. Faint. Prism. Yeah, nice. GG. Easy clap. Easy clap. Easy peasy. There we go. Love to see it. Just, oh, come on, wizard. My lab is just through here. Mind the treadmills. Right, so I told you we could do that. We'll just forget that the first one ever happened. We don't mention that. We just don't mention that at all. <laughs> we just don't. Not all right, I've mention. removed the barricade on the front door they put up to keep the snot soldiers in. Now, shall we get down to business? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 Okay. Okay, game. Very annoying when that happens. Very, very annoying. Very, very annoying. Right, Gobleton. Let's let's go to Gobleton. I just want to end the episode. Come on. Jeez. Jeez. Hopefully we can um just go through the door. Yeah, we can. Nice. We can just go through the door. I don't know why we were going the other way. Really? Right, we're going to end the episode here. I'll be back next time when we'll be in the lab. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. Um, if you have already subscribed, press the little bell so you know exactly when I post another video. And remember to craft outside the box. <laughs>